In this video, we're going to learn how to check if one string is a rotation of another string using Python. So for example, if we have the string test1 is equal to Python, we could rotate the string one character to the right by taking n and moving it to the first index in the string and pushing forward the remaining characters by one index. We could again rotate the string one character to the right by taking O here, putting it at the start of the string, and rotating forward the remaining characters by one index. We call these rotations of the original string. What we want to do is check if one string is a rotation of another string. So for example, test2 could be thon pi, and test1 could be python. And here the string test2 is a rotation of test1, and vice versa. One of the simplest ways to check if one string is a rotation of another string is to take one of the strings and concatenate it with itself. We then check for the second string in that concatenated string. So for example, here we could take test1 and we could concatenate test1 with itself. We would get this string here with python python we could then check to see if the string test2 occurs in this new string. That's only going to be the case if the string test2 is a rotation of test1. We'll also need to check to make sure these strings are the same length. Let's actually create a function to solve this problem. We'll call the function isRotation, and the function is going to accept two strings as arguments. So we'll have string1 and string2 for the parameter names. And this function is going to return true if string1 is a rotation of string2 and false otherwise. Now the strings are not going to be rotations if they don't have the same length. So that's the first thing we'll check for. We'll have here, if the length of string1 doesn't equal the length of string2, then we know the strings are not rotations and we can just return false in this case. If the strings are the same length, the function is going to keep executing, and we'll check to see if string1 is a rotation of string2. What we'll do is concatenate string1 with itself. So we'll have temp is equal to string1 plus string1. So this is going to concatenate string1 with itself. We'll then check to see if string2 occurs in this new string. So we'll have here, if string2 is in temp, then we're going to return true. So string2 in temp is going to check to see if string2 occurs in the string temp. If this is the case, we're going to return true because string2 is a rotation of string1. Otherwise, we're going to return false because string two is not a rotation of string one and vice versa. We can then test out this function. So down here, we'll call is rotation and we'll pass it test one and test two and we'll output the result. So we'll output the return value of is rotation. We can then save our program and try it out and we get true because test one is a rotation of test two. If these strings were not rotations of each other, say because a character was different, then if we save the program and try it out, we'll get back false. So this is how we can check to see if one string is a rotation of another string in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.